you cannot be weak yes you heard it right you cannot be weak you cannot be emotionally weak you cannot be mentally weak you cannot be psychologically weak because it is a sheer disrespect to the creators of you be it your parents or be it god if you believe in it and it's a responsibility to respect yourself and it's not that uh, you just boast about respecting yourself you just brag about respecting yourself majority of the people doesn't know that what respecting themselves means now the question arises how you respect yourself you respect yourself by working on every aspect of your life be it emotional aspect be it psychological aspect be it physical aspect that's the only way to respect yourself rest is sheer delusion you have to understand one thing that you have to make yourself a dangerous person you heard it right a dangerous person because dangerous is the opposite of weak and when people are weak they are crushed by the society their ideas and values of life will be crushed by the society by the people by the top hierarchical people and after that they become just a body without a, a spine because they haven't worked on all the aspects of their lives that's why you have to be dangerous you also have to understand that weak people are the problem to the society now you are like you why weak people are the problem to the society why you are considering weak people yes weak people are the problem to the society why because weak people are incapable of dealing with problems they put themselves into adversaries and fail to solve that problem which result in frustration anger and that frustration and anger went out in the form of violence be it physical violence or be it verbal violence people do the physical and verbal violence in their home people abuse their wives they abuse their children why because they are weak they are frustrated from inside and also weak people are incompetent they cannot take challenges which indirectly impacts on the growth of the country yes you heard it right weak people are incapable of doing anything so i will be sharing few rules which you need to abide by in order to become a better version of yourself the first is compare yourself to who you were yesterday not who someone else is today because this will keep you moving forward you don't have to compare yourself with other people you don't have to compare yourself with your friend who is making hell lot of money you don't have to compare with your cousin who is very competent enough in studies the second point is work on your communication skills yes you heard it right you have to work on your communication skills because communication skills is not only vocalizing word but to articulate your words in the best possible way which puts some kind of impact on others and for that you need to put so much of knowledge and wisdom inside your brain by reading and writing because without reading and writing you cannot articulate words because you have to you have to put words inside your brain next is pursue what is meaningful not what is famous people are people are crazy about pursuing the things which is famous which are making them weak they are dancing on the songs they are lip syncing on the songs they are becoming like they are becoming weak they are becoming mentally weak by doing all these things because they are incapable of because they are incapable of uh, taking hard challenges so you have to do what is meaningful you have to do the things which is meaningful to you and your people around you you know this mindset of pursuing meaningful will put yourself into the hardest situation which will eventually help your growth your physical growth your psychological growth your emotional growth and the third point is tell the truth now you be like yes i always tell the truth no majority of the people are becoming weak because they are lying to themselves they are telling themselves the lie that they are strong they are emotionally strong okay so you have to tell the truth you aren't supposed to tell the lie to yourself because this will making your brain in a false world to live by you have to tell the truth that where do you stand you have to tell truth to yourself that you are weak because this thing will will start your journey to become strong and the fourth point is you have to work on your body I'm not saying that you have to have a very good sharp physique like an athlete like a bodybuilder no but at least you can be able to run you can be able to lift this will make your mind believe that you are capable of holding any responsibilities 
because when you work on your body you work on your emotions you work on your chemicals you work on your hormones because the harder you work on your body the more stronger your body mind and emotions will get and this is the very very important phenomenon to understand and the fifth point is you have to put yourself into uncomfortable positions in order to get yourself exposed only then you will figure out your weakness you will get a chance to work on it and last but not least you have to find your strong why yes you have to find your strong why because without the strong why your pursuit of becoming a dangerous or strong person is incomplete because the stronger the why the more capable you will be the more disciplined you will be because if your why is in clear then you will get distracted you will get distracted by the small things you will get distracted by the girls you will get distracted by the boys you will put yourself into again difficult situations and you have to work on your relations yes you have to you have to work on your relations just find a person who helps you to grow mentally physically and emotionally that's how you became dangerous or strong person thank you